Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to configure backups using Holland Green solution. So uh, right now I am open in configuring the in SQL Server 2019. If you see that I don't have any jobs in that. Uh, so open this Holland Green scripts and download this maintain dot maintenance solution dot SQL. I already downloaded. I just go to the downloader and maintenance solution. Uh, right click on that click edit copy the code uh, so right click on the instance click new query paste it by default these are all uh, will be installed in the master but I don't want to mess up with master and I don't want to create that so I have created a data dedicated data uh, DB uh, name as a DBA yeah, and I don't have any tables on that and so I'm using here instead of master uh, I'm doing creating DBA okay so here it will going to create the jobs S. Yes. it is now we need to mention we have backup directory so I would recommend you to create the network path uh, as it, if it is a, a standalone instance you can use the in, a local path but I would recommend always network path uh, I'm just going to that in default I have backups right click on that give access specific world right everyone is read and write is there so right click on that properties share copy this URL click ok go to that and uh, place this inside single quotations declare I want to clean up for every six hours uh, I want to give it the uh, null uh, it, if you mention the uh, null it will be right to the SQL server error log if you have configured and uh, error logs and uh, error cycle recycle job uh, and uh, you will if you frequently restart then I would recommend you to keep this null and if you have very huge databases so at that time it's all depends on how the your environment is so right now I would recommend you to give the dedicated uh, folder for this so it will write all these information uh, to the to this directory instead of error log so that the error log will not error log file will not grow uh, in time to time okay so if you mention the output directory it will write all these back job information to the note file instead of error log file okay now I want to declare this information to the log file when you I have created DBA it is going to create a single uh, create a table on that uh, DBA table I will show you what exactly the table is okay and now this information is you need to configure basically and uh, you need to uh, click on execute yeah now uh, refresh the instance and agent job and open the jobs as here you will get all these jobs and okay so now um, I would recommend you to if you go through this uh, I will you have to go through all these uh, ones so I will show you that uh, what exactly it means and I have configured full backups but that full backups what could be that if you want to take the only full backups then you have to mention system databases if you want to perform only system databases if you want to perform only user databases then you have to mention this word by default it will be user databases and you want to take all these uh, user and system databases then you have to mention and if you want to take only the availability group databases then you have to mention and if you want to mention that uh, you have to take the user databases and you have to exclude that all, uh, all availability group databases from that you need to mention hyphen okay so that is a yeah, like this you need to grow for every value uh, for every command there will be a description is there okay and uh, open the actual uh, SSMS. Click on that file. Uh, full steps. Click the edit. 
user databases now what i am when i want to exclude the iphone dba comma space hyphen dba okay and i am doing this for the log backup as well click ok Okay, now I want to configure for differential backup as well. Okay, now I am going to perform as a full. Uh, for example, you can, uh, but it will not get scheduled, so you have to schedule that. New click up, and weekly one starts on Sunday at 12 p.m. Okay, and uh, zero zero is uh, you can start with uh, twelve or it's twenty four time means it means you need to make twenty four. and uh, starts with and and you had you can mention the. Uh, time as well uh, end when it should be end occurs every one hour uh, occurs every one second I don't want to this and uh, occurs every what once uh, starts with tool so here the start, it is going to start Sunday at 12 p.m. okay and you need to mention um, weekly Sunday from 12 okay mm, now you have to do the same for the log and differential I uh, okay now I'm going to take that uh, I'm going to run the uh, full backup job excluded and I am also running the differential backup I am also running the user databases. So totally, I should have four uh, for three databases, three files: Alum B backups. See the log files are created, and uh, so at for adventure, I have differential full log file the extension is system name i underscore database underscore log type and 2021 9th gym 9th month 23 and the time 148 so at that time it was got created so this is how the naming engine exchange should be and for full and full file and log file and if you go through the dba the database so there will be one table will be get created so this is the dba now you click on new query and select star from So here you can see this. So first it will going to create subdirectory, uh, and it is going to create the backup database, and it is going to restore that, and it is going to delete all these uh, four steps related for one database. If you see go through, see for all the uh, for for data creating uh, database, it is going to perform four steps. Okay, for the first step is creating subdirectory, taking the backups, restoring that, and deleting that. Yeah, this is the comma. This is the comma. Then you can see the what is the command it is going to do that. So and coming to this, you need to do perform all these integrity checks. And if you want to do that, 
and how often you need to clean the output file go to that see this is the files okay and uh, we have mentioned six hours right so after a six hours the file is going to clean up the text files and this is the command log file uh, how often this table should be get cleared okay and you need to uh, uh, you need to perform the just you need to schedule that that's it at how frequently it should run that's it so and uh, this is all uh, exactly uh, all about it is okay so i hope uh, you may like this video and if you have any uh, doubts just comment that so that i will uh, i mean i will do r and d on that uh, if i don't know and i will give the reply thank you for watching this video bye